Round three of what has been an excellent fight so far. Juan Arroyo in the blue trunks, and he comes out quickly against Manuel Vega. Round Lands two, right Vega. Hand. Come on, Juan. Vega in the red. And this has been nothing short of nuclear holocaust right from the start, Steve Shane, because both fighters willing to trade blows and doing so very effectively. And it'll be a question of stamina as we get around to the latter rounds of this fight. Arroyo's got the best of the body punching, though. It's tough to score a fight like this. I thought Arroyo held his own in round one, although I gave it to Vega. Steve Shane scoring it even. And Arroyo effective early in round two, but Vega was able to rally, as he's trying to now. None of those punches landing. Right in the center of the ring. They can hold this fight in a two-by-four room. Arroyo trying to come on and land that left hook, and Vega's going to have to be careful if he trades blows. Arroyo can strike with suddenness, and Arroyo backed up against the ropes by Manny Vega. All hell breaking loose there for a second. Really, this is not the kind of fight that opponents of the nuclear war would like to see, because both these guys throw nothing but bombs. All right, it settles down now. A crowd pleaser this fight has been. Manny Vega with his back to you in the red and black. Juan Arroyo undefeated 8-0-1 as he stepped into the ring tonight in the blue trunks with the white strap. Lightweights going six rounds. This is round three, and we're about midway through the round. Vega has scored a couple of times with that uppercut when they've been in the clinch. Juan Arroyo needs to step back and set up the left hand with the right hand. And he was able to do so in the early part of both rounds one and two. Little counter-punching display by both fighters. Neither getting the job done there. Minute to go, round three. Juan Arroyo on the blue on your left. And Manny Vega doing a good job, both offensively and defensively, against a pretty tough cookie. Ooh, good right hand by Vega, and that grazed Juan Arroyo. Good body punch there by Arroyo before that. This kid shows amazing resiliency. He's able to bounce back. I've seen him in trouble several times, and with swiftness, he comes in with that left right to the body like he did just there. And all of a sudden, it's all over. We're heading for the exits. Eddie Eckert's the referee. Half a minute to go. Round three. Lightweights going six. And the two fighters showing a healthy respect for each other as they trade blows, mostly in the center of the ring. Great right hand Oh, by he sticks Vega. out his tongue, a little bit of showmanship. Juan Arroyo trying to say, you didn't hurt me. Manny Vega perhaps knowing better. And Arroyo coming on now with a rally. Looking a little bit like Aaron Pryor. Vega right back. The fighter is in your face now. All mice are prolific and near the bottom of the food chain. Which means that in a sense, they exist for the dietary delight of others. The grasshopper mouse is no exception. It must contend with snakes, badgers, foxes, coyotes, and the burrowing owl. Rest. A little tiring right now. Both fighters. Both fighters tossing punches out of left field, but under control. And that's what we haven't seen in the previous bouts on tonight's card. We saw Gary Garber and Art Johnson wage war and end up in a draw. Controversial as far as I was concerned, but not according to everybody else, so that shows you what I know. And they were throwing some wild shots, but uh, here we've seen both fighters under control, both landing punches, both going to the body, both counter-punching, and both initiating lots of action. Lightweights in round four. And all three rounds have been action-packed. This one the slowest of the fight so far. Two minutes to go. And this is what I like about Juan Arroyo fights. They have the feeling out round somewhere near the end. <laughs> They've already done most of the damage. But this figures to get hot and furious before it's all over. Vega's got a great uppercut. Vega shows me very much uh, in this fight so far. He's coming off a loss, and that's tough to do. Comes in at 6-2. and two. But you have to think maybe he was matched a little bit over his head early in his career and had the guts to go in against some experienced fighters, and he's certainly up against it tonight. 
with a tough customer like Juan Arroyo. Vega trying to bull him against the ropes. Good combination. Vega in the red trunks with the black stripe, Juan Arroyo. The man on your right in the blue. And he's trying to go to the jab now as the fight progresses. Good uppercut underneath by Juan Arroyo and he takes a shot to the head as Vega is showing the kind of counterpunching ability that took Leo Cruz to the WBA title on Miami Beach a couple of weeks ago. A minute to go, Eddie Eckert breaks him up. In an action-packed lightweight bout that's going to go six, barring a knockout. Good right hand, lands. The right hand lead can be a very effective weapon, especially in a fight like this where there's been a lot of infighting. And several good exchanges by both fighters. Arroyo not going to the body as much as he did earlier. Seems to be respecting Manny Vega a little more. I think he came out thinking it was going to be an easy victory to number nine, an easy road rather. And he's found out that is hardly the case. Half a minute to go here in round four. Jeff DeForest along with Steve Shane on the Selkirk Sports Channel tonight. Vega with that uppercut. It's been his most effective blow. And a fairly even exchange. Both fighters saying we're going to come right at you. And they exchange heavy leather in the center of the ring. Neither fighter going to phone this one in. They're both there and no. that's the end of round four.